Ilya Kaminsky's Deaf Republic, the first thing that came to mind was kind of echoing that old Tom Leonard poem, here is the news and this is poetry, reading it. This book dips the reader into a vat of now, into a vat of the zeitgeist, and you come up soaking with it. You're permeated with the book's anger and its images and its narrative skills and, and deafness as reality, deafness as metaphor, deafness as lived reality, and personal and cultural and historical deafness all come together in this book. And here is the news, and it isn't a, an and finally at the end of the bulletin. These are the headlines, and these are the true stories that are contained in the news. Ilya Kaminsky. Thank you so much. It's an honor to, really, to stand here and read at the same podium where all this wonderful, wonderful poets have read. Thank you for your poems. Uh, I speak with a pretty heavy Russian accent, so hopefully behind me you will see the poems on the screen and can follow. This will be very short, just three short poems. We live it happily during the war. We live it happily during the war. And when they bombed in other people's houses, we protested, but not enough. We opposed them, but not enough. I was in my bed. Around my bed, America was falling. Invisible hearts. By invisible hearts, by invisible hearts, I took a chair outside and watched the sun in a six month of a disastrous rain in a house of money, in a street of money, in a city of money, in a country of money, our great country of money. Live party of us. So, um, Deaf Republic is a book about a pregnant woman and her husband in a time of crisis. Um, there's a lot of complicated, sad things that are happening, but in the middle of it, they have a child. So, the second poem is called Before the War, We Made a Child. Before the War, We Made a Child. I kissed a woman whose freckles are rough as the neighbors. She had a mole on her shoulder, which she displayed like a mother for bravery. Her trembling lips went come to bed. Her hair would have fallen in the middle of the conversation when come to bed. I walked in my barber shop of thoughts. Yes. I zipped her off to bed on the chair of my head. Us, my parted lips, but by my parted lips, lying under the cushion. Sonia, the things we did. And then a lot more difficult things happen. Um, this poem is called The Townspeople Watch Them Take Alfonso. The townspeople watch them take of us. Now, each of us is a witness stand. Washington watches us, watch for soldiers, throw Alfonso Barabinsky on a sidewalk. We let them take him, all of us, covers. But we don't say we can in our suitcase, our coat pocket. Our nostrils across the streets, they watch him with fire holders. First he screams and he stops so much sunlight. 
A teacher thoughts of a closet lying an old man stops, picks it up, rushes it to his face. Neighbors just to watch him drown on the sidewalk like a muddy lock, ta-da! In so much sunlight, each of us is a witness stand. They take Alfonso, and no one stands up. Our silence stands up for us.